Hi everyone, it is time for another daily tangle. Today's tangle is called Hearts Apart by Nancy Robinson. Um, here's that you start with hearts. You draw a heart, you draw more hearts around. And then in the middle you put this kind of rice shape. And that's kind of it. You embellish as you see fit. So I'm going to give that a go. Um, I'm going to start with making a little border on this tile. I think today's tangle needs one. Um, just a light pencil border. Just to give me a, a boundary. I don't have to necessarily keep that boundary, but I'm going to do something like that. And you know what? I have this incredible urge today to play with colored microns. So I'm going to choose, you might not be able to tell on the video, but I'm choosing a purple. Purple. Oop. There. And this one is an 05 size, so it's going to draw a little differently than my 01 ones. It's going to be a little bit thicker, but that's okay. And I'm going to start a little off center here and draw me a heart. And then turn it and draw me another heart. All right. My hearts are not even close to being consistent. I know I could probably practice that, but you know, I don't think it's that critical. And one more. Like that. And then here we do sort of a rice shape right there in the middle of where that heart is. And to be honest, it it looks not much different than if I had just gone around and done petals and overlapped them all the way around. So, you know, that's kind of what it looks like to me. Um, but we'll continue on. We'll we'll see what happens here. Um, I think I'm going to want to finish this one, kind of embellish it as I go. And then maybe do another one. It's relatively simple. That's 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 the end of it. Hearts with with rice shapes in the middle. I must say the O5 micron is a little different to work with, just because I'm not used to having such a thick line. Especially lately when I've been only using the O1. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to I'm gonna aura it. Maybe that will help me see the heart shape more. Not bad. Yeah, I like that. Do I want another one? I do, but I think I want them. I'm not sure I'm done with this one yet. I 
I feel like making this one grow bigger. So you can start with your basic tangle and your basic shape. And once you've drawn it, you can do whatever you want beyond that. It doesn't have to stay exactly uh, the pattern that, that it starts out, you know, embellish around it. I'm going to do don't know. It just came to me. People will ask, you know, how do you make these choices, these decisions? Sometimes I don't make them, I just do them. I just do something, you know, experiment. Uh, take, take the time to, to just, you know, ask yourself, what if? What if I put, what if I put dots now? Okay. Now I'm going to want dots. So then the thing is, well, where do I want the dots? What if, if I put them here, that will look different than if I put them here. I think I'm going to put them here. Put a circle right there. And this is sort of how you would um, grow a, mana a mandala. You would start with a central shape and you would just keep adding to it. So this is kind of what, what's happening here is, is I've started with that pattern, the hearts apart, and I've I started growing it outwards by just adding other stuff to it. And um, yeah, it sort of makes it an, into a mandala. And then I'm going to connect, I'm going to connect these to the dot. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to do another one. I'm going to start here. I think I'm going to put it up in the corner of, of my of my thing here. Um, no, never mind. I'm going to put it here. I'll start there, okay. And a heart. And a heart. And a heart. And another one. Do the right shape in the middle. Hearts apart is what it's called. So I want to do do something with this one but I want to I do want to keep my my border sort of there and there where I had written it in so I'm gonna go around but I'm gonna stop there so that my this piece looks like it's tucked up into the corner um, 
I'm going to do something similar to what I did here. I'm going to go ahead and, and aura those. But I think I'm going to color them in. So I'm being a little quiet today. Um, I had a cold at the end of last week. And it was a good thing I had already pre-recorded my daily tangles. I, I recorded them on Monday and Tuesday and then I, I just uh, uploaded them later in the week. Which was a good thing because I had lost my voice. And I'm still not feeling at 100%, but I am much closer than I was the other day. Much, much closer. I'm like 90% instead of 40% or 50%. Sorry, I think I got a little off off screen. I apologize. I wasn't watching what I was doing. Ah, sorry. I will try not to do that. Um. I'm going to Three, right from between the t one, two, three. One, two, three. One, and you don't see those. And one in portion. And then I'm going to. build out from here like I did on those other ones build out from there and there and there um, but I think I want I don't know what I want zigzag. Put a zigzag on there. That's not overly attractive.
something like that. That's a little bizarre. I've turned them much more hexagonal than I thought they would end up. Well, I'm going to do one here. Put it off, off center a little, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna really draw in my border. That might help me. Oops. Make it help me with my eye. I don't always put the border in first. I don't always put a border. It helps me decide where I'm putting my next step here. Um, Gonna build out around this design. Um, Not exactly, not exactly having a plan here. I just want to build it up so that it incorporates into the other ones. Fill, I need to fill these spaces really I feel like these really need something I need another one here Hardest part is is drawing where, remembering where it would be if it went, but not actually drawing. The um, parts go outside your your perimeter, your border. I'm 
Let's see. Um, oh yeah, I have to do the little raised shape to finish off that pattern. Ooh, it didn't look right. I lost my train of thought. It happens sometimes. Alright. <clears throat> and then just kind of build up around that one as well. I'm going to go ahead and, since I've done sort of all those auras on the other one, I'm going to continue that same sort of look on this one. <clears throat> Pardon me. Still a little congested. And then, um, You only see two of them. Because <coughs> you wouldn't see that one. You don't see that one. No, nope, you only see two of them. Well, okay. And then something here. I want to just go ahead and fill this whole square. I guess I'll do another one in the corner. some more dark. I've got too much just line work and not enough filled in where there's dark. So I need to go back and, and fix that in a couple of places and just fill in some spots. I think that would help. Um, you need to think about um, balance in your work and, and compositionally how how things flow together and sometimes you just know that you know if something doesn't look right so you need to kind of um, step back and look at it and say well you know maybe it needs more darks it needs something And you can put these little lines in here and then you can go back and you can fill in every other one and that looks different than if you just leave the little lines I've gone off the page again. Apparently I'm not, my camera must not be set 
in the right spot because usually I have my area down here. Uh, that's odd. Okay, well I'll have to move that for the next next recording because something is not quite right. just going to leave that. I think it needs I like these lines with a dot. I don't know why, but I do. I use them a lot. Lines and a dot. <laughs> That's not too bad. It's 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 balanced. It's got some dark here and some dark on this side. It kind of balances each other out. And once I get the shading in there, that will that will really help. So that's the the main tangle is hearts apart. If you can remember what that is, and see there, even their um, sample is uh, has got it right here in the middle, and then they continued with something on the outside. So. Building up is, is sort of a natural thing with this particular tangle. I'm going to go ahead and do a little shading. This one took a little longer than I had anticipated. I guess it's because I filled it all up like that. Okay, so let's just give this a little shade. I'm going to make sure that this particular one pops out from the background. By going around it completely. I've been doing most of my shading with a, an HB pencil, which is equivalent to a number two pencil, and then just blending with my blending stump. I prefer a stump over a tortillion or tortillon or however you say it. Okay, let's see. Um, I'll do that one right in the middle here, and I'm just going to spread that outward. Just making it kind of soft. That and then this one, I think, around this edge to kind of define the edge of it. And I am going to do that around on my border. My border to be a little softer. Okay, and maybe just something right in the middle here. Just going to do one side of each of these hearts. Just the one side. Like that.
Okay, and then definitely here. In the middle of this whole thing it needs to blend outward. And I think maybe right on top. something in here. I'm going to shade these little orbs just a little bit on one side and maybe just on the inside of, of the little heart right on the top. Oops, I missed one. Okay. Just a little bit. Something like that. A little bit of shading, get a little dimension. Oh, I forgot to sign it. Ha! Huh. Shame on me. Uh, decide where I want to put my signature. There we go. And this is Hearts Apart. H E A R T S A P. Hearts Apart. All right. Looks good. See y'all next time.